pass through the marrow and search for exit D5. Alright, so before I leave this area, I just want to double check. I want to make sure there's no items. And immediately when I walk over here, there's a freaking item. Four sniper rifle bullets. Anything new over here? Nope, doesn't look like it. Looks like there's nothing back there. Oh man, what's this? Look at this. It's worth it to run around and look. They added all new items. Weapon parts. We'll give the whole courtyard a quick run through before I leave. Fucking bodies. Bodies and body parts strewn about. <clears throat> Nothing here's changed, it's just that there's still some items lying around. Ah. Nice, more handgun bullets. I don't think I have any shotgun shells. I have three. Whoa, this is twitching. Look. <laughs> Alright, I just want to make sure. That's a light box, by the way. That's what that's called. It's when you have a, a very high-powered light, but you set up a little a box around it to contain the light. And then the, the reason that they put that white filter over it is because it actually mutes the light so the light doesn't become too overpowering and create glare in a shot. But that's how professionals actually uh, do photography and filmmaking. They use light boxes. I actually have some. I have uh, three, two or three light boxes in my garage that I was using when I used to do stuff with my green screen. Um, which has been quite a while now, over two years. But there you go. Any of you who are aspiring filmmakers or photographers, now you know what a light box is. Look at this. Boy, am I glad I came back here. There's extra stuff. Keep looking. They won't let me back in, though. Nope. And here's more. Smoke powder. That's it. Okay, now we can leave. I dare you to jump over the spiked fence. You wouldn't do it. I gotta go all the way back. It's good there was more items. It's bad that I have to backtrack again. Fuck. What's this? Oh, it's a glare from water. Yeah, I do. I like the graphics of this game. The one, the one thing is the pop-in, though. If you've noticed, a lot of items kind of pop in while you're doing it. But... For the most part, the, the uh, graphics are quite good. Well, maybe next year, if I get to stay here in my, my house uh, without having to move or whatever, maybe I'll, I'll do some green screen stuff. I'm actually debating doing it because now, now I actually have the means and time to do it. When previously I didn't. Maybe one night I'll just go in there and start filming random shit in front of the green screen that I can use for, like, pre-streams and stuff. Um, you never know, but I thing is, I'll need the space to do it, and if I have to move to a smaller place, I probably won't have the space to do it, because my green screen's huge. Alright, uh, I should keep looking, because remember, there were more items? So let's just quickly run around and see if any more items have been placed anywhere. Nothing there. Anything over here? I am finding absolutely nothing. No. I don't think there's any items out here. I mean, I'm trying to give due diligence because I don't want to miss a key or whatever. You know, miss a really good item, I'd be pretty pissed. But I'm not seeing anything out here. I'm, I'm almost thinking eventually... There's going to be items hidden really well, like those statues. There'll be one up in a tree. You got to shoot it and the key will fall out of the tree. That's the kind of shit they used to do in Resident Evil. And Shinji Mikami, who made this game, 
was the director of Resident Evil 1 through 4, so I wouldn't be surprised if stuff like that actually does happen in the game. But so far, I have not seen anything like that. Okay. Let's get out of here. There's the gazebo. Yes, Sir Noble X, I did find the upgraded medical pouch. Oh, look! A residence point. Another beautiful day. Another beautiful day. I can't remember the last time it was overcast or too cold. Huh. Always feels just right. I'm truly blessed to be born and raised in Union. Never left this place. I don't want to. I plan on dying here. Ah, mm. oh, yes, spring. When the titties come out and the pussies are in bloom. Wait, what? <laughs> Alright, we're done here. There's nothing here. That was a good memory to find, though, but nothing else here. There was a statue back here I already got. So I think I'm good now. Alright, let's go. We're gonna go back to the marrow. Well, in this case, back to the save room. Did anyone repopulate this drawer? They did. Someone put something additional in the drawer. That's pretty silly. <laughs> that is pretty silly. Who came in here and put this spark plug in the drawer when I was gone? Or It's not a spark plug, it's a fuse. All right, so we're back. Any items been replenished since I've been gone? I have full health, right? Yeah, I don't need the coffee. I'm definitely gonna craft stuff. I'd be a moron not to craft stuff before we, we continue on here. All right, so here we go. All right, where is the crafting table? By the way, any, any goodies? No. The cat did not give me additional green gel. How dare you. The cat doesn't love me. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> so. I craft a new med kit. I mean, I've only got 22 freaking herbs. I guess I'll make a med kit. Um, I could pretty much max out on whatever I want. How many harpoon bolts can I make? Just one. Oh no, never mind. I can make six. Boom. Dude, I'm going to max out on all ammo here. I really am. <laughs> oh, you know what I need? Shotgun shells, right? Hell yeah. Boom. I can make it one one new sniper bullet. I guess I will. There you go. Holy shit. I almost maxed on every single thing of ammo. The only thing I don't have is max handgun. But I guarantee you I'll find that. Only 160 weapon parts. I'm not going to bother with upgrading right now. I don't think that's essential. However, I have a new lobby key, right? So let's do, use the lobby key and see if how much green stuff I have. I can do another upgrade. <clears throat> Detective Castellanos. Good to see you again. Yeah, see, the good news is, I st once again, I still don't need it. But I can come back and get the shotgun ammo whenever I need it. I have two new locker keys. Let's try this one. I don't need it. It's a syringe. I will take 40 gunpowder, though. Excellent. There you go. Okay. 12,000. Excellent. So what do I want to use it on? I want to get the maximum speed when crouched. Damn, that was a lot. But I think it was worth it. Alright, that might be all I get, actually. There's only a 4,000 left. Yeah, that's it. And that's all I'm going to get for now. I'll come back later when I have more. Very nice.
All right, now I'm going to spend another hour trying to beat the final stage of the shooting gallery. No, I am not. No, I am not. I'm going to go back to the story. Excuse me. Holy moly. So we're with chapter six now. Chapter six of, I believe this game has 17 chapters, people were saying. But already today I beat four, five, and six in one sitting because they were really short. Which is what I expected. The open world chapters will take forever. The linear chapters will be real short. Alright, on the hunt. Alright, we're going back to... The Marrow. The Marrow. We're searching for exit D5 this time. Go for a quick jog. <laughs> 